membership had a bunch of circles connected, and one of them was community life, but they later realized it had to be reversed. Okay, here's Common House, and here's uh, Buildings. Buildings, and here's Plants, Animals, and Landscape. Okay, so look what they have now. They have selected in a very fair, clear, and transparent way. Oops. An operations leader. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Can I interrupt you just for a second? Oh, certainly. Um, I'm sorry. The, the reality is that the first seven minutes, I didn't have the mic turned on. And so either at the end or at any point, if you want to repeat, I just want to tell you now. Thank you. And just in a quick fashion or any fashion, I just want, even though it's got the video, it's got no sound for the last seven minutes. Thank you for saying. I'm not going to go backwards because okay. I have I, to, I, I owe to, these folks a workshop. Sure. Yep. That's the way it goes in life. I'm sorry. What we'll do, yeah. it, sure, I know you didn't mean it, and I appreciate that you're even here at all. Yeah. We'll just uh, make lemonade. Great. Right. Thank you. Okay. So... We have an operations leader. I'm making them red with the arrow going that way so you'll know I mean operations leader. And it took an afternoon of time. So then Jerry said, okay, everybody who stood, stood up for buildings and grounds, please go to their first meeting where you're gonna elect a representative to the general circle. The meeting will be when they figured out the meeting and all the people will go to that meeting at a different time. They created a meeting for each of those to be facilitated, until they got a facilitator, by their operations leader in order to elect a representative. Why did they not put them at the same time? In case you wanted to work in buildings and grounds and PELS. In case you wanted to work in membership and common house. It's because they don't really have enough people to do everything, so people double up like life and community, right? So they all went off and had those different meetings and elected their representatives. Whoa, they did that privately and on their own in their groups. Why was that? Why was that? That's how it works. That's how it works. It's not the whole group that selects the reps. It's the people who are in the group, the functional circle, because they know which one of them knows a whole lot about buildings, but also has long-term strategic planning, long-term big picture thinking. I'm questioning the reason Selecting one representative that would go each time to, to the general circle, as opposed to every month saying, who's here this month and who would like to go to the general circle to represent our group? Let me turn that one around. And I will answer your question, but not quite yet. So I'm going to turn it around. First of all, Harold Indenberg and a company in the Netherlands yeah. tried multiple things uh -huh. and took notes, being, you know, cybernetic folks, yeah. and being folks who um, understood, let me get this for Janet, who understood Is there another copy? I can make more. No, I found the rest of them. Oh, okay. I, I made twelve. I don't know if Janet is here or if she's are you I, here? I'm attempting to be here, yes. Here you go, Janet. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so they learned, Gail, that what works best was the same representative for the period of time during the term length. And um, so now I'd like to ask you, what benefits or advantages would you see in rotating them each time? Um, one is that everyone gets the opportunity to participate in the general circle. Why is that a benefit? Why? Just, why? What? Yeah, just say. Why? Yeah, why? Yeah. Um, I think it just it gives you a sense of inclusion. And, um, okay, I'm going to address that before you go to the re next and, benefits. And then, but, but most importantly, most of these committees here are pretty small, and if. If John is out of town for the next three month, weeks and can't, then somebody else should go, I assume, a representative if he's not able to from the general circle. So there's not going to be a consistency probably in the first place. Okay, let's take each of these. I'm going to call the second one the vice president of representative. 
And I'm going to call the first one, make sure everyone's included. Okay. Okay? Does, is sociocracy invented and created in order to help people feel included if they've been marginalized in their life? Yeah. And we're compensating for how marginalized they might have been and not included in things? No. 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 Just get jobs done. Uh -huh. It's to organize work tasks and create policies to help organize those tasks. And it's also to create a harmonious organization, as it's overarching. And it's also to uh, help each circle have a, the kind of meeting, a policy meeting, to create posts, to create projects. Policies for how they guide their work and projects. Okay, so that's, uh, I think, significant. Um, I would ask you, begging you on my knees to please not stick into sociocracy, a consensus-like paradigm value of helping people feel included. I would like to ask you instead to please have the representatives get good at it for the year of time that they're doing it and get the role improvement feedback from their circle and from the general circle and let them get good at big picture thinking. If I was this person here from building, uh -huh. and I just knew buildings, but I'm the one that got elected, yeah. and I went here and I had to think about the well-being and the overview of the whole entire group, uh -huh. I would become expanded in my thinking about how our community functions and what's needed. I'd be a better person as a community member with a bigger, deeper view and perspective yeah. than I had been before. Okay. And I can always, at the end of my term length, no longer want to do it. I cannot nominate myself. If I'm proposed, I can object. Mm -hmm. We'll get to this later today. Okay. And another person in buildings and grounds might nominate theirself, themselves or get nominated. Yeah. And if so, then that person will, one, get the experience and two, get the training on big picture thinking. It might happen that if we have seven people in buildings mm -hmm. over a seven year period or a, set, or a three and a half year period, if we do six month terms, mm -hmm. if we did, yeah. all of us become trained in bigger, deeper, broader thinking, which can only be good for each of us as individuals. Each of us as the buildings circle people and each of us as the um, uh, people who live in community. Mm -hmm. So that's one thing. Now, I think it's quite relevant that the second person wouldn't be going to the general circle meeting if a Carl, Carl was out of town for three weeks. We might as well have a second person go if we want to. We don't have to, but we could. Now, probably the operations leader is going. So now let's talk about theory and practice. Theory, the operations leader sends information this way. The representative sends information this way. But you know, I'm imagining both of them pipe up and say things when the other one says something to help bring the information because one of them might have forgotten to say X or Y, you know? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So it seems reasonable to me that we may not even need to send an extra representative, the vice president of representative, but if we wanted to, we could. Now, the operations leader would have to say to everybody in the general circle, um, Susan isn't normally a member of the general circle, but we would like her to sit in and have full consent rights on behalf of our circle in this meeting. And they would need to consent to it, wouldn't they? <coughs> now imagine two scenarios. On the one hand, they could consent to it. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, they could say, we don't consent because Susan doesn't have the breadth and depth of ongoing discussion that we do in here about the big issue that we're considering that's a whole community issue, though we know she has deep knowledge of buildings. Mm -hmm. And they might say no, but they might say, we'll ask for your input in proposal forming. And we'll ask for your input in resolving objections in consent decision making. Because a good idea can come from anywhere. Does that make sense? Yeah. <coughs> okay. So thank you very much for saying that. It helped illuminate the issue big time. I really appreciate yeah, it. Well, it's very helpful. Thank, thank, you. thank you. And might they say to Susan, Susan, you're welcome to attend our meeting. We ask that you um, not contribute until you're actually asked to, and that you don't go and disseminate the information or opinions you have about what's happened in this general circle um, elsewhere, because um, you haven't been a part of the 
Does that happen? I think that it's a really good idea to ask uh, Susan to just observe and speak when requested. But we might request her ideas for proposal forming because a good idea can come from anywhere. When we consider and decide a proposal we may have just made to deal with the X big issue that's happening out there, we might ask her to help us resolve objections because a good idea can come from anywhere. But she doesn't have full consent rights. And please don't go and gossip about what you've heard in this circle. Well, I don't know how I think about that because <laughs> one of the things we do is we have full transparency. Hmm. Anybody can know anything. Everybody can know everything if they want to. It's actually not considered harmful to have everyone know everything. So <clears throat> let's take that word gossip. It could mean sharing news, or it can mean saying mean things about someone, which doesn't mean. <laughs> like I say to my best friend at Earth Haven, so what's the gossip? What I mean is, what's the news of the village? Mm. So-and-so is getting married. So-and-so is having a baby. So-and-so is moving to Peru. That's Interesting news, I call it gossip. Anyway, thank you for that. Any other comments or questions before we say what else they did really quickly? You already know it because you just read it. Okay, what they did then was um, in the proposal that they had made, they had proposed various smaller functional circles. And they asked the people in the meeting of membership, and pals and common house and buildings to have a meeting where they did what? He elected the operations leader of each of their smaller functional circles. I won't do that all the way around. It'll take too long, but you get the point. Then they asked these groups to have a meeting and do what? What do you think they had them do? Elect a representative. Elect a representative, and that's exactly what they did. Well. These could have happened simultaneously or, or not, depending on somebody wanted to be in this one and that one and this one and that one or that one and that one. But the point is, they, uh, they did it. In these meetings, they also said, please elect your facilitator. I'll make the facilitator purple for no good reason. And, uh, and uh, please elect your circle administrator. I don't think they use the term circle administrator, but I do. So I'm going to say it here. Circle administrator. When you see sociocratic literature, it'll call that person in that role secretary. But you know my history with secretaries. Mm -hmm. so what? No? I yes, I do. I'm yeah. <laughs> OK. All right. So the point is, all four roles got selected, elected in each circle. Now, the general circle needed to elect their facilitator. Let's say they elected this person, who has two roles, operations leaders of PALS and facilitator. I'm making this up. I don't know how they really did it. And they needed to have a circle administrator. So let's say that it was this person. I'm using blue, aren't I? Yeah, let's say that it was this person. This person has two roles, representative and circle administrator. We're going to talk about roles later today. There's probably no need to talk more now. The whole point here is how they took seven steps, basically, to create this from what they had been, which is different kind of unrelated, semi-related working groups, teams, or committees, and their whole group meeting, which I'm calling their monthly business meeting, or we could call the board of directors meeting. What do you think? Comments, questions? Um, I'm not sure how often it's okay to ask questions. It's and, totally okay. And I also am aware that I haven't been here for a couple of days. Um, I'm, I'm just wanting to pick up on your phrase, the, how circle elected, or excuse me, circle administrators, or some role, people got selected, elected. Mm -hmm. um, has that, I'm guessing, been talked about a lot before? No, not, not yet. We're going to okay. talk about it later today. Okay, thanks. I'm getting ahead of myself because I was wanting to share. I, I like the way you phrased that. And I just wanted to make sure I hadn't missed out on something. Well, if you, will, you will get that later okay, today, thanks. so thank you. Any other comments about this? Sure. Uh, because of scheduling, it seems like this, this could have taken a month or more to, to actually get all these people selected. It did. Their proposal 
that they uh, consensed to, um, where the three people did not block but stood aside instead. That proposal was long. And it had this, and it had step by step how they proposed that they could